Hi there, I'm Kelly DeMarco on behalf of the Alliance for People with Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities, and I'm continuing to share their stories of the challenges they're facing right now. There are agencies all up and down California that provide some essential services for these adults with developmental disabilities, things like employment, social inclusion, and community living. But right now during coronavirus, as you know, uh, they've had to shut down some programs and they have certainly had to pivot to make things work. And so joining me today is Diana Palm, her son, Anthony Lee Higgins, and his job coach, Jeremy Johnson from In Alliance here in Sacramento. Great to see you. Good to see you. Good to you. So Diana, let's start with you because I know, I mean, you feel this pandemic and the effects that it's having on your family. Talk about that. Uh, talk about your son, Anthony, and how things have changed. Well, with, since this has all happened, of course, the masks are now in place, which is really difficult for him yeah. and others. Um, they feel like they can't breathe. It's just difficult. And it, the understanding of wearing the mask, people, he thinks that people are sick. Well, if I wear the mask, I must be sick, and I don't want to be sick. So that's been really hard to get through, but his job has been really good. They've actually um, provided him with a shield instead of the paper mask, which okay. is tremendously, and I have actually given that information to In Alliance as well in hopes that it will help for the future with other clients and in their jobs. Um, as far as the sick bug goes, as we relate to it, that's the easiest way to understand is Anthony having to be at home instead of being involved in sports because he does a tremendous amount of sport, sports. It's all year round. I keep him involved. It goes from one sport to another, and that has all come to a complete halt. Yeah. His, um, he actually had a tournament scheduled right when this took place, and they said, that's it, major tournament canceled explain that you know yeah. to yeah. your son or daughter so that's been difficult um and being able to socialize he always went to the dances he used to go to cooking classes he used to do a lot of different things and everything's just completely done and he's telling me now when am i going to get to go back when is this bug going to be over yeah. Hey, Anthony, I'm with you on that, buddy. I can't wait to see my friends again and socialize again. And I understand that you work with Jeremy there, your job coach. Tell me about your job, Anthony. So I shove a cart, I'll go get that, the acai, and uh, go get it. And uh, 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 grab a cart back to the inside store. Again, again, back and uh, again, again, back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. You're helping people a lot. I know, Jeremy, you're a big help. Great job, by the way, with being a job coach. I mean, how have you helped Anthony through this process during this pandemic? Anthony does everything on his own. I, we are there to support and just provide a little bit of assistance in helping Anthony fit into the community the way that he wants to. Um, but he does, I mean, he does everything he can. Sometimes we just need to set things up in a certain way so that it, you know, it's linear and it makes sense for him to do it. But he does everything on his own. And how is it going wearing the masks and getting used to that and seeing people with masks? I know even for me, when I go into Target, it's like, it's so strange, isn't it? It's tough. And there's a lot of um, conflict around it. There's a lot of people are on edge and, and we can really, Anthony's really good at picking up on, on people's emotions. And especially in a grocery store setting that's really tough right now, there's different sides of this of this going on, and, and uh, a lot of that, you know, spills over onto onto the workers there. Yeah. Well, you guys are an essential job right now, and so you do what you have to do, and we appreciate that so much, uh, Diana. I know that funding for you know programs like In Alliance. Uh, just came out last week, the Department of Developmental Services came out with this list of reductions that is just cuts to so many programs. And I, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on that as a mother um, with, you know, a son in these programs, what does that look like to you? And what do you think that's going to mean for, for all sorts of programs? It's actually fearful. Um, yeah. 
they're already short staffed to begin with. And with Anthony, he has a job coach that picks him up. And with them being short staffed, we still don't know day to day who he's going to be with. And not just with Anthony, but with any other individual, um, it's huge to have a routine and know who you're going to be with. Um, and you don't get this. And if they're going to cut back that much more, I fear that they're going to be calling us and saying, I'm sorry, we don't have anybody for you today. You're going to have to stay home. What does that do for you know our children? Right. They're not able to go out there and work. We want them to be part of the community and without the funding for not just this program, but many others to get them out in society to socialize. I mean, socializing is huge. And to be able to go to all these different programs to learn how to cook, to have somebody come to the house, the ILS, huge to help them be able to be out on their own because Anthony wants to live on his own one day. And without these programs, this isn't going to happen. And so that is scary for myself. I, and I would do whatever I have to in order to see that there can be funding. Yeah. Well, not to mention, I know you work full time and, you know, it's hard to juggle all of this and to make it all work, but you guys seem like you're handling it pretty well. And Anthony, you're working hard and making the best of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Well, it was really nice to meet all three of you. And I just wish you all the best during this time. And hopefully we can get through this together and help each other out. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Good luck.